changed it. Happy New Year's! How was your vacation? I hibernated. Why am I not surprised? What a shocker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently it's still here. In their mind. You're still hibernating. Wake up, sir. Oh! I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's, en let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Lots of requested books are coming uh, are going to come in today. I'll have to work hard for lunch. Uh sorting all of these takes forever. I think I'll just I think I just have the encyclopedia to be the one done. Huh? There's a look on the help desk counter. Shoot. Help desk. It just seems like um. But yes, it helps. Um, Miss Blanc, you have to be a student to all that. Would you share my catchy? You look like a challenge to a samurai duel. That fits in my thing. I think this is the first time you approach me. I wonder what it is. Are you here? Yes. Yeah. 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 You get me. You startled me. How long have you been here? From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I want to. Talk with you, Miss Block. Talk with me? Continue from last time. We were talking about fooling, I think. Okay. I'm not listening to I'm not sure where to start. I noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Block. Let's go outside. What? What is this going outside? Come on. Stanford and walks over to the door. I follow, confused. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out of his bed? I should be happy, but I got a bad feeling about this. Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He's standing in the doorway, pushing me against over here. What are you doing? Mine? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library, and then, once forward, crashing into the air. I'm gonna get you. What? He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a minor. God. I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up there again. 
Did I come to understand the truth by talking to you before? You probably was too. Well, no one else talked to me. That's because... Nope. Because obviously I can't see. I'm um, the only one you can see? Probably. I forgot why I was here. I seem to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years. With no one to talk to. For years? I've forgotten how many. I think I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and started uh, talking to me. I had no part in it but myself for so long, and suddenly, you didn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remember why I can't leave. I killed myself in this room. My clock broke here. The pants turning on the moon with me each day. The pain of the last. Alone. Forever. No one is boring me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here after all. But. I think I'll miss you, Miss Boy. Damn it, Dad. If I wasn't like this, I would. I would have liked to talk to you more, the longer, the get you. I got my arms around him. I can feel him slightly, but he's cold. At first, getting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. Now, uh, I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, but that you. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? I talked to you. I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. Yeah, I became transparent. I don't like that. You told me about the school. It's probably trying to take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you only told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've been to four years at school. And now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nageki. His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled in the distance and hits it. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait. You never talked like this before. I don't I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Pa. I'm worried when I'm gone. There's no one here to mourn. But There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I've noticed. It's the secret that stopped my clock. No, no, don't say it, you get me. I as I go back, I do face you disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Block. Can't stop it now. But but I still 
I still have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I love you. I have to admit, like, I tears. And it reminded me of my... This is because I could relate to him, and... Like, my friend, like, I... He died from suicide, like... Not all that long ago. So... Thank mm -hmm. you.